When it comes to electronic boost control, we're most likely to see the boost being controlled using either a three port or a four port solenoid that is controlled by the ECU. By opening and closing this solenoid, airflow can be controlled to the wastegate and in turn the boost pressure can be regulated. In an interesting twist here on Ken Block's Escort Cosworth Jim Carner car, we can see that the boost is actually being controlled using a pair of injectors. Now that might seem a little bit unusual, but this is actually a technique that was relatively popular, particularly in rally days. What we need to understand though is that these injectors really are just a solenoid, so they're performing exactly the same function as the typical three port or four port solenoid that we're more familiar with seeing. In this case, the injectors used are a compressed natural gas injector, so this means that they're quite comfortable moving compressed air, and they're also a relatively high flow. They're also very good because they are a fuel injector at being controlled precisely which of course helps with our boost control. Now the reason that there are two injectors used on this particular application is because there is also a twin port wastegate actuator. In this case the BorgWarner EFR 7670 is fitted with a Turbo Smart internal wastegate actuator using one port on the top and one port on the bottom. Now by diverting compressed air to the top of the wastegate, this forces the wastegate open which in turn will reduce boost pressure. However, if more boosters are required, boost pressure can be diverted to the underside of the wastegate which forces the wastegate closed and raises the boost pressure. Now the reason that a twin port wastegate actuator like this is used is that it allows a much wider variation in boost pressure between the minimum spring pressure that can be run and the maximum boost pressure. This is very important in order to control traction and torque delivery on a powerful two-wheel drive or four-wheel drive car, particularly when it's operating on a slippery surface such as gravel or perhaps even snow and ice. So while the use of fuel injectors for boost control may on face value seem a little bit unusual, really it's achieving exactly the same function as a conventional three-port or four-port solenoid. If you like that video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, and if you're not already a subscriber, make sure you're subscribed. We release a new video every week. And if you like free stuff, we've got a great deal for you. Click the link in the description to claim your free spot to our next live lesson.